Hi, today I'll show you my open source project for an intelligent MQTT client. It allows you to connect Internet of Things powered by the low-cost microcontroller with a Wi-Fi ESP8266 to the cloud using MQTT. For this demonstration, I'm using open source hardware components from Olimex and a Linux container from the cloud hosting provider Kayap.com. MQTT is a published subscribed machine-to-machine -machine connectivity protocol. It is suitable for Internet of Things as it works properly behind NAT. ESP8266 connects to the local Wi-Fi router and through it to Mosquito, an open source MQTT broker that I have deployed on the cloud. With this open source project, ESP8266 works in two modes, a web server or MQTT client. The setup includes three simple steps. The user has to turn on the device and to connect to its open Wi-Fi network from a personal computer, a smartphone or a tablet. On the next step, the user must launch a web browser and to visit the following URL. A user-friendly HTML5 web page will be loaded in a moment. It has a responsive design that fits well on different form factors and devices. On the third and final step, the user has to select his local Wi-Fi network and to type in its password. ESP8266 will save the configuration and will reboot. The open network created by the IoT will be shut down. The device will read the saved configuration so it will connect to the local Wi-Fi and after that it will try to establish a connection with the MQTT broker. If everything is ok, there will be a steady green light. Otherwise, if the Wi-Fi credentials are not configured or if ESP8266 is unable to connect to the cloud, then the green light will be blinking. As you see, now we have a steady green light and our gadget is connected to the cloud. Its open Wi-Fi disappeared and the smartphone automatically reconnected to another known Wi-Fi network. If you want to change the Wi-Fi network credentials on ESP8266, just hold on the GPU0 to low for 5 seconds to wipe out the existing configurations. After that, the gadgets will automatically reboot again in a web server mode. The source code is available at GitHub. Please explore it for more details and give me a star if you like the project. The smartphone used for these demonstrations is Samsung Z1 with Tizen. Of course, you can do the same with Android or iOS devices. To learn more about Tizen, check the Tizen cookbook from Pack Publishing. Thank you.